on February 8th, 2022, Degra turned six years old. In the first part of this tour, we look back at the primary achievements of Decred in its first three years. In many respects, these years outline the ethos of the project and establish the hardness of the protocol and the relentless determination and technical ability of the team. Decred is demonstrating its willingness to build at a slower pace than other projects, with a resolve to getting things right and putting security of the project before all other aspects. As I mentioned before, Decred is taking a direction that no other cryptocurrency has been able to follow. A large part of this is due to its self-funded nature, with no external backers steering the direction of the project whilst pushing for short gains, Decred is able to achieve so much more. The first three years were predominantly about building the core features and proving that the concepts are sound and secure. The next three years is where it gets really, really interesting. Decred is a living and evolving beast that sets itself at a target of finding and solving problems that others can only talk about. Its primary objectives are removing middlemen, removing fee takers and removing rent seekers and unrigging a game that has already been set in motion. So let's continue our journey and see what the next few years of Decred's development cycle looks like. May 9th, 2019. Lightning Network support activated on the Decred mainnet. Second layer solutions are seen as a way of increasing the transactions per second or TPS without bloating individual blocks or the blockchain. The Lightning Network is seen as a good solution for small payments as transaction times are shorter and fees are reduced massively. This proposal went up for voting with the perception that it would be highly contentious, but the stakeholders were in favour of this development with over 76%, that's 29,000 votes voting yes and only 1%, 408 votes voting no. With Lightning activated on the network, Decred is able to benefit from the long-term development of this project and the scaling opportunities that the system offers. August 28th, 2019, the initial privacy implementation is released. Money should be private. It's the single feature that makes sure all coins are treated the same and confiscation becomes a lot harder. Decred implemented a system called CoinShuffle++ which integrates a mixing service with the Decred ticket pool. As the ticket pool guarantees a high level of throughput, it makes privacy on the Decred chain inexpensive, secure and efficient. Decred's privacy solution also maintains the auditable nature of the coin supply, a feature that more complex solutions struggle to achieve. Decred's ticket pool currently holds over 62% of the DCR coin supply with an average of 41,000 tickets being rotated over the course of 142 days or less. As no third party service is required to achieve this high throughput and high level of privacy, all mixing is achieved relatively cheaply, currently a fraction of a penny, and directly from the Decrediton wallet. October 29th, 2020, DCR DEX version 0.10 after two and a half years of discussion, planning and development, DCR Dex gets released. The first version is a proof of concept or an alpha version, not ready for mainstream use. The goal is to create an open source, feeless, peer-to-peer exchange that can run on any blockchain platform that has atomic swaps capabilities. Throughout the remaining months of 2020 and 2021, DCR Dex gets many improvements and becomes production ready at the beginning of 2022. The credit on 1.7 now houses the full implementation of the Decred Decentralized Exchange with built-in SPV mode and a built-in Bitcoin wallet, all of which makes the process of exchanging a lot smoother. One thing that makes DCR DEX truly unique is that Decred is not aiming to be the gatekeepers of the exchange. Eventually, the hope is that all projects will be able to connect to a single order book through a server mesh structure. Each server operator will be able to onboard new users and instigate their preferred trade pairs and rules. DCR DEX is a massively disruptive technology and a trading environment that the crypto space desperately needs. In 2022, Decred will push the boundaries of what a cryptocurrency can do even further with four groundbreaking consensus changes. 
The first is Decred's treasury will become fully decentralized with a two-factor authentication process that gives stakeholders the final say of how money will be spent. This helps Decred work towards its bigger goal of becoming a fully-fledged DAO, decentralized autonomous organization. With a treasury of over 776,000 DCR, which is currently valued at over $50 million, this will become one of the largest transfers of wealth from a single entity to a group of anonymous stakeholders. The second consensus change is explicit version upgrades. Decred will become the first blockchain to implement a hard fork only system for its protocol upgrades, which will provide an easy, reliable and efficient method for software and hardware to determine exactly which rules to follow and apply. This consensus change will further embrace increased security and other desirable properties that hard forks provide over soft forks. The third consensus change is the block subsidy split. The Decred block reward is changing from 60% miners, 30% stakeholders and 10% treasury to 10% miners, 80% stakeholders and 10% treasury. This is due to the perceived and witnessed undesirable behavior of centralized mining organizations towards the Decred chain, which has caused sell pressure and price suppression for at least the last four years. Decred's research shows that mining is already more centralized than most realize, and that other proof-of-work blockchains are suffering from the same conditions as Decred. Shortly before this proposal went live, Zcash announced that over the next three years, it would be working towards moving to a pure proof-of-stake system. One can only assume they have identified similar issues. The final consensus change is automatic ticket revocations. This will remove the requirement for stakeholders to manually revoke missed and expired tickets, making the user experience of redeeming funds for tickets that didn't vote a lot easier. Throughout Decred's short six-year life, the project has achieved many new frontiers in an environment that requires innovation and careful processes to maintain the security and integrity of the protocol. In this time, Decred has upgraded its consensus no less than six times without causing a chain split or a contentious hard fork, proving that good governance and a systemized approach to conflict resolution can be achieved. The outcome is a community that is not fractured and everyone is working in the best interests of the project. During this time, Decred has produced over 645,000 blocks consistently without problems, delays, hacks, malicious behavior or scandal. The current coin supply is approaching 14 million DCR of the 21 million max supply, with a total of approximately 7 million DCR left to mine. Decred's privacy participation is currently above 60% of the coin supply mix, making it one of the most fungible coins in the cryptocurrency space. Decred has one of the highest performing stakeholder participation rates, currently over 60% of the coin supply or 8.7 million DCR. Proposal voting is also well attended with an average turnout of over 60% of the available ticket pool placing an active yes or no vote. Stakeholders have voted on no less than 114 proposals, 70 of which have been approved and 44 have been rejected, spending a grand total to date of 467,000 DCR, approximately $30 million. In the Decred Treasury to date, there is over 764,000 DCR, approximately $50 million, with a further 719,000 DCR to enter the Treasury from the block reward over the next 100 years, with the majority of which being received over the next 10 years. Due to its hyper-secure proof-of-work proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, Decred has constantly remained expensive to attack frequently above $500 million per hour. So with all this wonderful development happening in the background, what do you think Decred will achieve on the lead up to its 10th birthday?